We have programs in computer science and cybersecurity. Um, that's a, a big field here at the Tandon School of Engineering. These are very important uh, research, um, uh, research avenues for our, our work here as a school and as a university. And other programs at the high school level are really for those kids who, you know, they're already kind of on the STEM pathway, but they don't have any access to high quality experiences that can propel them. And so there I'm thinking particularly of our high school research program, it's called ARISE, Applied Research Innovations in Science and Engineering. It um, is a seven week program. It places students in labs next to post uh, postdocs and graduate students and faculty doing authentic research. So they're not extracting DNA from a strawberry, which they did 60 years ago. And even if you go to the best New York City high school, you're still doing that. You're not doing the innovative stuff that is really today's science and today's engineering. So this is an opportunity for kids, uh, young people. Again, we're not looking necessarily for the kids with the best grades or the kids with the most uh, accolades or the kids who have already done 28 STEM programs. Uh, we're looking for students who are um, ambitious in the best sense of that word and who are dedicated to engineering and science and technology as a way to advance society. And that's really the kind of kids we look for because that, those students, those students um, are the students who are going to fit best here because Tandon is really all about research in engineering and technology and science that advances society. Right? Nobody here is trying to make the next great 99 cent app. <laughs> That's not what we do here. <laughs> right? We're looking for solutions to climate change. We're looking for solutions to mobility. We're looking for solutions to cybersecurity and hacking. Like that's what our research are doing, the, uh, making sure that artificial intelligence is used in a way that's socially beneficial and not harmful. So that's the kid, those are the students we're looking for. And I will say, and this is really important to emphasize, that what we have learned in all of our experience, um, and I've been here 10 or 12 years, in all of the experience I've had and the staff here has had, um, there are a lot of these students out there and they are black, and they are Latino, and they are female. They come from all walks of life, from middle-class families and poor families. Like, we are not looking in the right places for scientific and engineering talent. And so part of what we do here at the center, a big part of what we do, is making sure that we're reaching out um, to people where they are. So we're not, yes, you know, Students from Stuyvesant and Brooklyn Tech, and you know, they come here for sure, of course. Um, but we're also looking for those students who are in some perfectly mediocre high school in the middle of Brooklyn and never met an engineer or scientist in her life. And like, that's the student we want to find.